Hello Moglet, so I'm making my obligatory screaming into the void about the resin system. Yes, it sucks, we all know it sucks, and I'm not here to defend it, but I've had a lot of people requesting that I share my thoughts on this, and do be aware I'm going into this video pretty much unprepared, I don't have any notes, talking points, bullet points, whatever. My Genshin Impact videos typically reach a somewhat wider audience than I'm used to, and this is also somewhat of a controversial topic. So if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button to counteract maybe some of those dislikes, that would be awesome. I mean, of course, watch the video first, and if you really, really hate what I say, then, you know, do what you must. We can start with a little bit of personal background. So I've been playing gacha slash mobile games for like seven years plus. So it didn't phase me, honestly. I was expecting a system like this in place. I also played Honkai Impact 3rd, which is MiHoYo's other big game for like two years. They also did have a sort of stamina system, but it wasn't that big of a deal in that game because there was so much other stuff to do. With this game, the only other thing to do besides using resin is exploration. And I guess abyss, but after a little while, you'll find out you're stuck in abyss till you get a lot stronger. And the only way to get a lot stronger is by using resin. So I've been playing this game pretty hardcore ever since it came out about three weeks ago. We are currently AR40, we've explored pretty much every inch of the map, and of course besides all the collectibles like the orbs, the little ghost dudes, the time challenges, we've also collected at least 98% of the one-time chests. I haven't really got into the respawned chest farming stuff yet, and I probably won't to be honest, because now that we're at AR40, I'm not in a massive rush anymore. So one of the big questions is, should they remove the resin system? In a perfect world, sure. I think that's what everyone wants to happen. And on the surface, nothing can be wrong about it, right? People can just farm as much as they want to farm, and those that want to take the game more casually can do so. And it's very hard to argue that the game wouldn't be better without a resin system. There's pretty much no way I can say that. But for me personally, spamming dungeons, the same dungeon over and over trying to get something good, is not that fun. I absolutely had more fun looking for chests than I am having now, because now I'm at the point I'm just using resin and my saved up moons. But if there's no resin system, I'd probably still be farming artifacts right now instead of making a video. Because ultimately, that's just the way I am, you know? I like to min-max, I like to get the best stuff on my characters, even though it's might, it might not really be necessary right now, and I think that's the way a lot of people are. So I know this video definitely feels like playing devil's advocate here because everyone hates the resin system, but do be aware that I have absolutely no reason to side with MiHoYo or, or their company or whatever. I'm not sponsored by them or affiliated with them in any way. I did make a sort of silent commentary to this problem in one of my uh, more recent videos titled In Game In A Nutshell where I was approaching stamina cap, killed some bosses in a few seconds and then it takes, you know, 11 hours to come back and uh, that's how easily resin is gone. One of the things that does confuse me a bit is that this is already such a big topic. I could imagine this would be a much bigger topic in like another week when sort of the mainstream audience catches up to, you know, the higher level players. Like to be AR40 at this point, you need to be pretty much doing nothing but playing Genshin. And until this point, there was enough things to do besides things that required resin. And yes, this was mostly exploration. I, I spent like the last three or four days just going for chests. And maybe that's not something the general audience is gonna do. So once they hit like AR30 or whatever, they're like, Oh well, I don't want to go look for chests, and I can't use any resin, so there's nothing to do anymore. And I can't fault anyone for being like that. I actually did have a decent amount of fun hunting the chests with the interactive map, uh, which isn't perfect by the way, but, you know, it's decent. And uh, that was actually okay for me. Again, in my honest opinion, funner than spamming the same dungeon or boss over and over again. And of course, having continuous and steady progression all the way through to AR60 or whatever, yeah, you know, people would like that, but then, you know, what happens? You, you lose interest in the game. There is nothing more to fight for, no more goals to set. Once you have everything you want, then you're just maybe keeping it in the corner of your eye waiting for updates. And obviously that's not good for business. And that, you know, might be the point people are pissed off about, right? Just let me play as much as I want to. And yes, their monetization systems are too many, in my opinion, for sure. I mean, I'm sure they knew it was gonna be a big game. This is definitely the most ambitious, at least on the surface, mobile game, because it is available on mobile, so I can call it a mobile game, um, that I've ever seen, definitely. Massive, massive open world, beautiful graphics, 
amazing soundtrack. On the surface, it's the best mobile game I've ever played. Uh, of course, then we get to the monetization systems, the resin, all the all the issues with it. And there's probably another reason why people are taking this so seriously, because this game has so much potential. It being held back by these bad systems is just a huge disappointment more than anything. You can expect them and accept them in any general gotcha focused mobile game, but this is special, this is different, right? And that's how everyone is thinking. And they're right. This could have been and can still be an exception if they change something. I don't think getting rid of the resin system is an option. That seems too deeply ingrained with everything that just removing it, that's simpler said than done. One thing I was thinking of is perhaps having specific dungeons cost half the amount of resin to enter on certain days. I think something like that would be a good middle ground. And then of course there are the obvious solutions like increasing the stamina cap while reducing the time it takes to recharge. That's definitely something they could consider as well. Or just having fragile resins much more common, much easier to get. Maybe being able to exchange, you know, some other items you find out in the wild for some fragile resins every now and then. I highly doubt they're just going to get rid of progression capping like that. That is a massive part of their monetization system. Me, honestly, gotcha feels like a second thought. I was only summoning in like the first week and I haven't really touched it since then, you know. I have some cool characters and they work for me well enough. And people are always telling me you don't need five stars anyway. But progression, once you get to actually AR50 is when you can pretty much max out everything. What is there to do then? Of course they want to spread it out. Of course they want to retain players. Just asking them to get rid of their progression cap is I think too much. Now you could argue, well then they should just have more content, they should have more levels already, they should have, you know, more things to farm, but they don't. This world they built, even the current two out of, I believe there are going to be seven continents eventually, even just Mondstadt and Liyue are massive. But there's not much to do, besides just looking around for chests and challenges and ghosts and, you know, exploration. Now that I think about it, it's actually like the opposite problem I have with a lot of mobile games I'm playing for a long time. It's like they keep adding more and more and more and more content, but ultimately it's just a slight spin on the same thing. Like I don't really want to bring any other games into this, but like with Epic 7 for example, I, I just kind of got tired of the core gameplay. So no matter how many different types of content they added, it was still just kind of the same thing. But with this, I really, really, really enjoy the core gameplay a lot. So they could pretty much just add anything. Even though their first event was a letdown, I still kind of enjoyed it just because it was something a little bit different, right? I think the main thing with that event was the rewards were garbage, but that's just kind of how it is with this game so far. The achievements are stupid, they're literally not even worth doing because of how little the rewards are. Like what, 5 to 20 Primo Gems for a one-time achievement? Why? Literally just give us nothing. That would feel less bad. I do have to say that I think the resin system, it's been blown out of proportion a little bit. I definitely understand where everyone's coming from, and it could just be because I'm used to these sort of systems, I've sort of learned to be as efficient as possible because of these systems like not raising weapons unnecessarily unless you're absolutely sure this is going to be a weapon you're going to be sticking with either forever or for a very very long time right not raising a character you don't think you're going to be using a lot uh stuff like that so i've adapted to these sort of things and it could be others that just want to experiment with a weapon and max it out and then realize oh crap I, I i just spent six days worth of resin on this thing that i figured i don't really like you know yeah that can sting pretty hard i don't know though i just feel like removing the resin system entirely would take a lot of the motivation and value off of the items you can farm i definitely do think they could tone it down make the uh, bosses cost only 20 the dungeons cost only 10 but yeah at the end of the day i'm all for the player but as someone who's sort of been in this community of gotcha gamers and stuff for a long time. All I can say is don't expect much, at least for a while. They may change things slowly. In conclusion, resin system bad. No one likes it, but they won't remove it, no matter how many people cry about it. They may give us more resin at one point, maybe more fragile resin opportunities, maybe they'll lower the cost to entry, but they won't remove it. I'm sorry that this video was so rambly and so random, and I think it kind of came off as if I were defending the resin system. I want to make it clear that I'm not. I'm just trying to be a bit more rational and chill about the whole situation because ultimately, I do still enjoy the game, resin system or not. Of course, once I run out of my fragile resin, yeah, it's gonna suck, you know? I'll get to play maybe 10, 20, 30 minutes a day, and I don't know, I'll have to find something else to do, I guess. We all will. It's just up until this point, I've still been able to play a lot, a lot, a lot, and I'm not exaggerating. But I was farming chests and maybe that's something people don't want to do. I really wish this was more well structured and put together. I figured I'd be a bit more concise and solid in my points just on the fly, 
but I guess we'll have to see once I'm done editing. I'll try and make some bullet points and put it in a comment if this video was too hard to follow. Till then though, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.